Hi, I'm Josh with Tactical Tech. Uh, one of the problems we just started facing and I went ahead and solved with uh, my test domain is uh, basically we got two different forest and users from one forest over here trying to log on to a forest over here, which is fine, they can log on and everything. However, they aren't inheriting the user policies we have defined over here. In particular, a user log on script policy. So basically what we're going to do is uh, fix that problem today. Like I said, I got shadowwake.net over here as my old force and I'm currently transitioning to the new force which is tacticaltech.net. Uh, I got a domain controller set up on VMware and pretty much everything's in a VMware environment. And I got user test1 who is going to try to uh, log into Doom app one And this uh, right now it's not working, but this should inherit over here when user logs in to this machine. So, without further ado, here we go. Uh, I'll go ahead and log on here and just make sure that it isn't working right now. And sure enough, there is no script that pops up. So I'll go ahead and go over DC0, which is on the Shadowwake uh, domain. And what we're going to be looking for is this group policy right here under uh, Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, and Group Policy. Allow cr cross forest user policy roaming profiles. We'll just go ahead and press Enable here. And uh, before I go ahead and log back in, I want to show you the DC1, which is on tech, Tactical Tech. And let me make sure I'm doing the dang buttons right. And I got my test OU here. I already tried it out with another user, so hopefully this will work. And you can see I got my test script right here. It's defined under Windows Settings, Scripts, Logon, and I got it just in the Net Logon folder, so I didn't know if that have anything, if I had it from the defined from the desktop here, if there'd be any access problems. And it does work on anything in a tactical tech domain, and as you've seen earlier, it's not working on Shadowwake. So let me pop back over to the app one, which is tr the one I'm trying to log on to. Actually, it should be on DC0. It's enabled. Uh, back to app one. Uh, I also want to show you real quick. Under uh, reg edit software. Actually, policies, Microsoft. All right. HK user software, policies, Microsoft, and there should be a thing called Windows under here that defines a policy for the logon script, which is clearly not there right now. And just to verify that it ain't, it might actually work right now because I have that one. should work right now because I got that policy defined so we should see a new uh, registry entry in here press F5 maybe not okay let's try to log off and log back in and see if that does any magic for us And there you go. It works. And we'll go back to that registry setting that we were trying to verify earlier. Should be under current user, software, uh, policies, Microsoft, Windows, system, scripts. There it is. And uh, log on. Just one we're looking for. And there's my policy defined. So basically, Go back to DC on the 
hosting domain uh, with foreign user trying to log in. We need this to find in order for our script to run. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to see if it could do it, and uh, now we can fix our problem at work. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Where's the stop button?